Okay, so as I was building my eyeshadow palette favourites, I realised I don't talk about them, what people would see is the basics for a makeup look, and that's foundations. And that's only just because I don't try a lot of foundations, just because I don't go out and buy foundations that often. Um, I don't like kind of just binge buy foundations as much as I do with eyeshadows, that's why I don't really mention um, foundations that often. I'm going to in this video so these are my favorite foundations that I actually own so the first one this one may surprise you this is the um, makeup gallery um gorgeous a flawless foundation um this is in the shade golden sun 7 this is a bit dark too dark for me and um, when I do repurchase it I'll get a lighter version but anyway <laughs> If you're from the UK, you probably recognise this brand. It's from the um, from Poundland. Now, a lot of people dislike this, and I've seen first impressions of people using this, but they're using it wrong. They're they're trying to apply a thick foundation and mousse with a sponge. Guys, it doesn't fucking work. The sponge isn't a miracle thing. If you if you if you're working working with a foundation that's really thick, it like a mousse consistency. It needs to be buffed in with um with with a brush you can't do it you can't a sponge is doing the do jack shit <laughs> honestly you need to use a um a brush i like to use a kabuki brush when it comes to um mousses and everything like that so if you apply this with a kabuki brush and really buff it into the skin it looks really nice on the skin like i've had a compliment on this that's how good it is. I was at work, I was wearing this, I was like, oh, your skin's looking great, what are you wearing? Yeah, I'm wearing a foundation from Poundland. Yeah, I know, shocking. Um, but yeah, that's how good this foundation is. What's so weird about it, even though it is a mousse and it is matte, it feels really cooling when you apply it on the skin and it does not cling to any of my dry patches. So I should have mentioned this before, I have combination to dry skin. So this is a really fucking good foundation if you've got dry skin and you... Um, one a matte foundation this is really good but you need to remember you need to apply it with a kabuki brush not with sponge sponge does jack shit foundations like this um this one is a recent purchase this is the l'oreal paris infallible 24 hour fresh um wear this is in the shade um golden amber this one um kind of shocked me i didn't think to be to be honest with you i didn't think it'd be actually that great um, I thought it was going to be quite average. Um, I know nothing about the foundation. I just thought, you know what? I want to try L'Oreal foundation. So I picked it up and I was like, wow, this actually feels really like, like this really applies really well. And it's, and it sits really well on my skin. Like this one like proper shook me. I was like, okay, my new favorite foundation. Next one is the Borgios Paris City Radiance Foundation. I this is in the shade golden something that things will kind of come off this is a great everyday foundation when i want to wear makeup but i don't want to like have the effort of wearing foundation then i'll just stick this on it's just easy to apply and um, so i kind of use this as like a bb cream but it's got more coverage than a bb cream because it isn't a bb cream it's it's the foundation basically it's to, re it's to replace the maybelline bb cream because i don't use maybelline products anymore so i was like okay but this i really like this um one um this is one of the foundations that i don't need to powder either so i should mention if i will so for the most part I apply foundations with my fingers so the last foundation the L'Oreal I use my fingers the first one I just explained I don't I use a kabuki brush this one as well I use my fingers to apply because some foundations you get away with just applying with fingers but some foundations really need to be buffered into the skin for it to sit very well sit really well on the skin so it's that one next one is the NARS all day luminous weightless foundation this is in the shade medium slash dark three caddis i think caddis again this is this is another foundation that kind of shocked me because it's quite a watered foundation it's very liquidy you really need to shade this really well before you actually use it so i just assume that it's not gonna have that much coverage on it because usually um very liquidy foundations don't but this really has a really good foundation um foundation <laughs> really good coverage and i love the way it sits on my skin um definitely definitely really like this definitely recommend it um but yeah, it's a really good foundation. And this one I do apply with a brush. 
And then the last foundation is the Wet n Wild Photo Photo Focus Foundation, and this is in the shade Desert Beige. Now, the only thing I'll say, the shade range is a bit shit in boots. I keep saying this, but I keep forgetting to look if the shade range a lot if, is a lot more wider because in boots they hardly had any shades, and this one was the darkest, was it the darkest, maybe the second to darkest one they actually had in in actually in boots at a time where we could just go into a store and buy things. But anyway. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway really really like this foundation again i've been reaching for this as well as reaching this one for a great like everyday foundation um but yeah um it doesn't have a pump it has a spec 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 specular specular I can't say it. I probably said it wrong. Uh, I'm going to call it a scoop of it. Um, it scoops up good enough products so you don't need to like, you know, keep dipping it in and out or anything like that. But I do normally prefer pumps and obviously these two ones here aren't, haven't got a pump. They're squeezy tubes. Um, but yeah, again, as I said, I really like this foundation. It applies really well. It's just a great everyday foundation. But yeah, that is it for this video. So bye guys.